Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are gonna do the gear barrel cube. So in this cube, you can see that it's just in a cylinder shape instead of the normal three by three shape, like you have in a normal gear cube. So here also, there's not that big of changes so as you can see this is your layers and um, these move these pieces moves just as it does in a gear cube a bit weird and yeah so this cube is also pretty easy and it's one of those cubes which looks really hard but are pretty easy so i'll scramble it and let's get started okay now the cube is scrambled and let's start so the first step is to get the corners of one color you can either start with white or you can start with yellow i'll start with white so first things first you have to find a little corner which has white in it so you can see this one is orange green and white this is this doesn't count so let them stay where they are we just have to focus on the corners so orange green and white so we either need to get a white white red and white piece or we either need to get um, this piece over here which has orange and also has white so yeah as you can see over here we have found the piece which is actually blue orange and white so now we know that because this side our left side of this corner piece is orange we have to get this piece over here so to do that you have to think of these four corners as pillars now if you want to get one piece over here you first have to get the piece which you want to get here to the back pillar so now this one is on the left side so i will get our orange blue and white piece on our left back pillar so if you turn it you can see that our piece is down here now if you just whichever side it's on if you just do move like move it you can see now that we have got our blue orange and white piece over here so now that means our two corners are done and the rest two in a gear cube the mechanism is like if you solve two the other two are already done so over here red red now all we have to do is we have to get it over there here so we get it over here and then we just put it up and we're done this is our first step done. But there is also one more thing that you can get. And that thing is, just a second. Yeah. So what you can get is a yellow piece here. And if you do get a yellow piece here, just turn it around. Because right now we don't have to focus on these pieces. And I will tell you how to get out of this case. The next step is get all the middle pieces done. So over here, there should be white, here should be yellow, which it is. And over here, according to these two colors, there should be green middle piece. So let's get this green middle piece, which is right here. Yes. So we have got the green here, the red is also proper, blue is also proper, and the orange is also proper. Okay, that was our second step, sorry, second step done. And let's start with the third step, which is getting the edges. Like I told you before, if you in case get this case where you have white up top, but these two edges are not properly done. So what you have to do is you have to hold them like this. So that one is in front of you and one is in behind and whichever side you want to do it on. So over here, like I'm telling you, this is a blue piece and this piece has to be here. So even if I move, you can see it doesn't happen. Okay, so that's all I'm trying to explain to you. We have to solve this. Now we hold this place, this place above, so up, and then we do this algorithm. R dash, D dash, R, D, D, and a R. And with that, you can see that all the edges on this layer have white. So you can see white green, white orange, white blue, white red. 
and so is the case below. Now over here also, let's again match them up. As you can see, they're messed up. So let's get the middle pieces. And if you have all of the edges correct on the top layer and, and the bottom layer, all these middle layers are also going to be done. So yes, this is our third step done. Okay, so there's one more thing you can get while doing the edges. You can see that these are opposite. So that means that over here there is um, white and green, which is supposed to be over here, not over here. So these two have to swap. And so is over here. This is red and this is orange. But the orange middle piece is here. That means these two have to switch or swap. Now to do that, you hold them like this and then you do this algorithm. 2R U 2R and U. Now with that, you can see that these two pieces have swapped. Now this blue is done and so is this green. Now let's do the red and the orange. Now to swap these two, we do the same algorithm again. 2R U 2R and U and with that all the pieces are at their correct place just not oriented which is also okay and that will actually be our fourth step which will be orienting all these now to orient all these there's a simple technique which is if you see some pieces like this just keep moving the layer now suppose we have to get these two properly oriented so what we do we just keep moving it until it gets solved okay now this is when you stop because if you see in the top layer that the pieces is like this where the white is right you know joint with the middle piece of some other color that means that this layer even if you move it as much time as you want it's never going to get solved but you can see that this that's the same case with this layer also so that means this is the only layer that can be solved let's keep moving it until it's solved and yes i was correct so as you can see this whole layer is solved but not these two so now what you do is you hold the cube like this in a way where the solved layer is in the middle so if you have this layer solved you hold it like this because this is solved and you hold it like that okay now this layer is solved in my case this layer is solved so i hold it like this where this is my f and this is my back these moves are not needed i'm just telling you okay now the algorithm is you hold it like this and then you do r u R, U, R, and a final U. And with that, your cube is solved. Now, what you might get is that one of the layers is a bit shuffled, like this. So all you have to do is, like I, like I told you, just keep moving it until it's solved. So yeah, that's it for this barrel cube. And if you like this video, sure to give it a like. And if you have any doubts or any cases that I might have missed on, tell me in the comment section below or just give me a mail. That's it for this video. Bye-bye.